First of all, there are no Oompa Loompas in a real chocolate factory, and there is no river of chocolate. But there are streams, the stuff of mouthwater, dreams. Well, let's go back to the tropical forest where it all begins. That odd-shaped fruit is really a huge tropical berry. That's right, says my guide, cacao expert Francisco Betancourt, as he cracks open the fruit. It has the sweet, mushy taste of a tropical fruit. Where's the chocolate, I ask? Inside those seeds, says Francisco. And there it is, the bean, where it all begins. And it's here that chocolate began. While most of the world's chocolate now comes from Africa and Indonesia, it all originally came from here, on the edge of the Amazon basin. What percentage of the world's chocolate comes from here? We produce less than 1% of the world crop. That's incredible. And we have the lowest productivity per hectare of any cacao-producing nation in the world. Is that, is that because we're in a country that has... Uh, lots of petroleum. Lots of petroleum and pretty, pretty complex and messed up politics? Uh, I would say that. Absolutely. On plantations like this, they are cultivating the original cacao bean, hoping to brand pure Venezuelan chocolate as the real thing. The process hasn't changed a lot since the Indians here and in Mexico began refining cacao long before the Europeans showed up. The mushy seeds ferment in the hot sun for a few days, and they dry in the sun for a few more days. It is beginning to look and smell a lot like chocolate. In the tiny artisanal co-ops here, the roasted beans are crushed, and like some kind of edible alchemy, the solid beans become pure liquid chocolate. Refine it a couple of times, add some milk and sugar, pour it into a mold, and presto, chocolate bars and bonbons. And the result? And that's got a bold flavor, a little sweeter than the one over here, and, or this one. So the Oh, that's, that's heaven. Gotcha. Uh, heaven, heaven, yeah. It's just, yeah. Wow. Talk about a sweet story. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline in Parlamento, Venezuela. The quest for the perfect chocolate there, and rather than thanking Jeffrey, maybe, maybe he should be thanking us for that one. When we come back, we're going to turn to a guilty plea in that balloon boy hoax. But first, here's Jimmy Kimmel with what?